The Maryland Assistive Technology Program Library is one of 56 Tech Act projects located throughout the United States and her territories. The Maryland TAP AT Demo and Loan Library has various types of assistive technology for individuals to borrow and to try out, such as aids for daily living, devices for those who are deaf and hard of hearing, alerting devices and assisted listening devices, devices for folks with cognitive issues or memory issues, larger CCTVs, as well as handheld and desk size video magnifiers for individuals who are low vision, CCTVs with optical character recognizer to read out documents as well, or plain document readers for individuals who are blind. We also have a assortment of different wearable devices for those who are visually impaired as well as low-tech devices such as talking watches, book readers, and handheld magnifiers. Maryland Tap Library has an assortment of different Braille displays and Braille note takers as well as Braille book readers. We have various different alternative keyboards and mice for physical and visual issues. We also have accessible gaming systems. In our library, you will also find some recreational items as well as switch adapted toys and a variety of ability switches. Maryland Taps Library has quite a variety of communication devices from low tech, easily recorded devices up to high tech devices that are computer based as well as ability to access via eye gaze. There are quite a few different aids for daily living that are lower tech devices, some for gardening, some for personal uh, use, um, some for medication and so forth. This is a pill timer, so you can actually take it with you. The back side opens up, you can put your pills in the back side. And then when the alarm goes off, you pop this part open here and there's a little straw so you have water in here. So no matter where you go, you can take your pills with you and have the alarm set and be ready to go. There are a few alerting devices for individuals who could perhaps could wander. This one is called the Sky Angel 911. This can be worn around the neck or um, in your pocket. And what this device does is it has a GPS and can track an individual if they um, have eloped and gone astray. And you can then track that individual to where they're located. They can also do a phone call from the edge of this, or you can call for 911 if you need assistance. There are a variety of deaf, hard of hearing devices, alerting systems. This one is a, a clock with a bed shaker on it. There's also different alerting systems that can actually alert you to a baby cry, a door knock, a doorbell, a phone, and anything that makes noise can be sent via transmitter and then the individual would have a receiver, either a large one like this one or here that can sit by their bedside or by their phone or something smaller that they can actually carry with them like a portable device like this one. So when uh, the transmitter shoots out, you can then look down at the picture and see what the transmitter is sending, whether it's a baby monitor or a doorbell or a fire alarm. There's also assisted listening devices like this one here. This one is a pocket talker. This is a small device that has a directional microphone on it. You can point it in the direction of who's speaking, and then you can plug in any kind of earbud earphone that you prefer. There is a volume control as well as a tone control, so it makes this nice. It's not just in making the sound uh, louder, it actually then can change the sound to a higher pitch or a lower pitch for individuals who perhaps have lost that higher tone. Maryland Tap also has video magnifiers. This one is one of the larger devices. This is an Optilec. It's about a 13 inch screen. This one can slide on wheels right and left as well as front and back to make it a lot easier to look at the text. Similar to all of the magnifiers, you can make text larger 
and you can also change the mode of what color the background is. So we can click here to be black on white and then a variety of different contrasts depending on what the individual wants to see back to full color again. Again, this is a larger device, but we do have smaller devices that are a lot more portable. This is the Ruby. It is about a four inch device. You would put this over top of the text, slide it along the text. Similar to the larger device, we've got the larger, smaller, and we have the mode, the color changing mode on it as well. The smaller devices also have a freeze frame. So if you were looking at perhaps a price tag, you can take a picture of it. It will freeze and then you can bring it up closer to your face and you can also make it larger. And then once you click the camera again, it will go back to live mode. At Maryland Tap, we have a variety of ability switches that individuals can use if they can no longer use um, their fingers or hands to touch. These buttons can be put at any place that a person has a volitional muscle movement. This one's just a real simple little jelly bean switch that I can click. There are proximity switches for somebody who maybe can't actually reach out and touch something, but they can get close to the switch. So as I move closer to the switch, it actually activates. So you can hear a click. You can set the proximity to how close or far away you want it to be. So if someone can barely move their pinky, they can just move it in the direction of the switch and then activate it. And then there are switches that can connect via Bluetooth. This one is the Bluetooth switch, which is great for use with uh, the iDevices. So you can make a recipe for, a, for an iPod or an iPad touch to be able to utilize this to switch, hit switches, either hit these two switches or add another ability switch to the backside of it. Uh, to turn a page in a book or whatever other recipe you would like to have them do. Okay. There are a variety of alternative access to computers. This uh, keyboard here is more ergonomically set up for a one-handed keyboard. Then there's smaller keyboards. Down here we have a very high contrast keyboard with the yellow and black. It makes it a lot easier to see. Then there's also alternative devices like this head mouse. These are devices that sit on top of a computer the individual would wear a reflective dot, and then when they look on the screen, this device would actually track it, and where their head moves, that becomes the, uh, the cursor on the computer, and they would be able to use another software uh, version to be able to click by dwelling on something for a long stretch of time. 